Jack, Captain Jim here, and uh, I got Logan with me today on this Actually, episode of... You, you mean your boy. My boy on this episode of Cooking with the Captain, and today we're going to be making uh, Salo, 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 Solomon Grundy... Salma Gundy. Yeah, we're going to make Salma Gundy today. I've never made it before, but what it is, is it's a mixture of meats, seafoods, vegetables, and fruits all put together. People would eat this on a ship at the beginning of the journey because they wanted to try and eat up all the food that would go bad first. So uh, the beginning of trips on ships were probably a little bit better than the end of them when they were eating hardtack. Anyway, um, so we're gonna get started. All right, so we were gonna use the wood burning stove um, to cook tonight, but um, I don't have wood and it's not gonna work. So we're gonna use the butane stove to, to get things going. And we need a skillet. All right, so the first thing we're gonna cook tonight ah, first thing we're gonna cook tonight is gonna be the chicken because it's gonna take the longest to cook. Why'd the chicken look like that though? Because it's raw. No, but what is Ross Chicken supposed to look like? That that's supposed to be like a leg, right? Yeah. What's all this stuff? Thigh meat. Think of anatomy. Feet, leg, thigh. You ever eat a chicken foot? No. Have you? No. I've injected them though. But we only want the thighs. Ah, cutting board first. Good idea. So you're into thighs is what you're saying. Think you can cut one off quicker than me? Probably. Go for it. Alright. Knife. Alright, let me see that. Alright, I'm actually show you how it's done now though. Alright. Show me how it's done there, Logan. Alright. So you see this? You got Gotta give it a good luck slap. You know what I'm saying? Cut right here at this, right here. Right? Yo, this one's attached to bone, bro. There's bone in there, yes. No, but I mean like right here, like. Oh. Yo, that that sounds disgusting, bro. Now go back to the knife and you'll get it. No, but the bone is gonna keep it attached. You cut through the part where the bones connect. Really? Yo, we're learning so much. Well, you took the bone out now, so <laughs> there's no point. Bolt. Ah yeah, the bone's still there, though. Yeah, that's fine. Oh. Bro, come on. We don't need that. We... Fine. Yo, there's more bone, bro. It, it, that's a leg. <sighs> Yo, how do I wash my hands now? Don't. Ah, seasonings. Salt. Pepper. For chicken, rosemary is always good. Now this will probably take a little while. And now we just wait. Also, we just constantly record. Yeah, and then I can cut out what I need and put what I need to in there. You need me though, right? Need is a strong word. I'm cooking chicken. Is that the organic stuff? They only had organic squash. I would have just bought the regular squash, but they didn't have it. Dropped you on your head when you were a baby. Did I ever tell you that? Several times. But more like a down some stairs. <laughs> So are you a, a, a breast guy or a thigh guy? 
I cook for them juicy cheeks, if you know what I'm saying. Chickens do not have juicy cheeks. So dumb. Our chicken's not cooking very fast, so if your chicken's not cooking very fast, you put something over it. There you go, pan-cooked chicken, even better. Pro tips. Ow. Now that the chicken's uh, probably done, we're gonna take the pan off. No, oh, Jesus Christ! That was really hot. I wasn't expecting that to be so hot. You played yourself. How am I gonna get it off there now? I only got one pot holder. Aha! Now that the chicken's done, you can place it in your very hot pan so that you can keep it warm. Um, I think we're gonna throw our tilapia on next. Our fish here, we're gonna uh, season with some salt, some pepper, a little bit of dill. Damn it, this one's not open either. <laughs> hey, that was a lot easier than the last one. Now we're gonna flip the tilapia. Squeeze your pickle on it. Jeez, that pickle holds a lot of juice. And you might as well go ahead and chop up the pickle too and throw it in there. Pickles are best when they've been in the bus for like a month, just so you know. And we wait. Jimmy mix it up? Nope. Should you do anything? Nope. We wait. So when you wipe, do you like go through, through, and get to the crack? Or you do, are you an arounder? You strike me as a bidet type of person. What's that? Like you you want to sit there and instead of having to wipe your own butt, you push a button and water squirts at your butt crack. Oh, okay, so the tilapia is now done. We'll add that to our chicken pot over here. Shrimp will be next. <coughs> Garlic. You have to smash garlic. Do you know how to make garlic? Hey, talking to you. Oh, do you know how to do garlic? No, I was kind of so, in the shrimp. You put it like this, put your knife on top of it, and smash. And then you peel it. So we'll do that to the rest of these cloves. Perhaps. Fun Where'd pie? my garlic go? <laughs> now we're chopping the garlic. I don't even know if like shrimp and garlic go together. It just seemed about time to, to, to use the garlic. So now we're using it. Put it on high, add your garlic to it. Yo, yo, we're gonna salt. We're gonna pepper. We're gonna add ground cordonum. Cordemonums. Ground cordemonum. Yeah. Bro, you can't even pronounce it. I like this either. stuff a lot. You're a also gonna add a lime to our shrimp. Okay, now our shrimp is done. We're gonna add that to this pan. Next thing we're gonna cook up is our crab, which means we want a lot of butter going here. Yo, I'm gonna add some. Uh, Hey, it's open. Orange peel uh, to this. Give it a little bit different flavor. And then we just let that cook up. Also, we need to add some salt to the crab meat as well. Oh, don't forget. All right, now that our crab meat is done, we'll add that to the side over here. Logan does not want to eat uh, like four month old crane. We're going to. Uh, Cook the steaks. Now, steak does not mean much at all in the way of cooking or seasoning. All you do is a little salt and pepper. Now we flip the steaks. Steaks are done. Are they done? They are. The next thing we're gonna cook is going Potato. to. Potato. No, we gotta finish the meats first. Uh, <coughs> not the meats. 
So we're gonna cook the crane now. And from all the stuff I've seen and heard about cooking crane meat, you don't cook it very long. Uh, we do need a little bit of salt and pepper on these bad boys too. Basically, what I've heard is you treat crane like the ribeye of the sky. It's expanding, bro. It is expanding, that's weird. You'll press it down to see if any air will come out. But, yo, they expand. Weird, That's right? weird. So while that happens, we're gonna get our uh, non-cooked vegetables going here. So what you do with radishes is you just cut them pretty thinly like this, and then that's all. That's all you gotta do to that. I really like radishes. It's one of my favorite vegetables, actually. Yo. Yo, is the cream done? Probably need to flip it again. Can you flip it with your fingers? Me? Yeah. How could I ever? Just like that. Okay, now that our crane is done. <laughs> no bigger crane. And we got all of our radishes chopped up. Next thing to cook is gonna be our potatoes. Woo, now I was at the start. I was at the store and I was looking at potatoes and I saw these little ones and I was like, I'm gonna use those. And, and what really sealed the deal is there's purple ones in there too. I didn't know there were purple potatoes. So we decided to quarter our potatoes. Actually, you decided to quarter the potatoes? No, I thought they'd be purple all the way through. What, Look, you these are a darker one. Let's see. Or yams, yams. That's what, what what's the bet that these are purple on the inside? Those are black. That one's black. You think they're gonna be purple? What do you guys think? They're gonna be purple? It, it's gonna be black. Purple potatoes! Yeah! <laughs> it makes me happy. This is a squash. Squash? Yo, let me We're gonna it. throw the squash right in there with our potatoes. Let me taste the squash, bro. We're gonna put garlic in this too. You're also gonna put okay, we need to check and see if the Oh, you're ahead of me. Okay. We'll check and see if they're done. Alright. <laughs> they're done! <laughs> Popping right there. You shoved it down my throat. And these are just gonna be raw. Not everything in Salamundi has Sal, Sal, Salamagundi has Salmagundi has to be uh, cooked. Melt some butter. Might as well just do the rest of it. Cause this will be for our asparagus. See we for the, my way of cooking asparagus is just with butter. And then you chop up some garlic. be a shame if some butter accidentally spilt on you. That would be a shame for you, sir, because though it would scald me, you would be the one feeling the pain. Oh. Oh. You cut the ends off the asparagus. They throw, not the sticker. Not the sticker. Not the sticker. We end the pot with everything else. Make sure you coat everything, yes. I know what I'm seeing. Yo. You let that cook for just a little while. You don't want your asparagus to get too limp. I mean, too. But, but you also don't want it to be too stiff if you know what I mean. Here, hold those. Don't Ow! How did a lime hurt you? Now, we lime it! All right, now we let the asparagus cook up a little bit. Asparagus is an amazing food, and it makes your pee smell funny, and I like that. While that's cooking, we can go ahead and chop up our pears. Ooh. 
I think these bears are a little overripe because they're brown inside. All right, our asparagus is now done. Now it's hot, now it's hot, now yeah, it's hot. It is. It's, it's stiff. Yeah, you want it kind of crunchy. You don't want it so stiff though. Asparagus done. I think you're just- We'll add that to that pot. Dump out the rest of the butter, because we don't need that. Now we're gonna add our pears to the pan. Now our pears, we're gonna cook with lime juice, some honey, and we're gonna add some red wine vinegar to that, and a little bit of salt. Yeah, salt pears, you know. Yeah. Trust me. Pears are done. Yay. And everything's done now, right? And now everything is done. Anyway, let me get me and Logan a couple plates made up and I'll get back with you guys and we'll show you what we got here for Salamundi. Salamund, Salamund, Salamagandhi. All righty, <laughs> so we got our Salamundi here, which is more of a concept really anyway than an actual recipe. Salamagandhi. <laughs> and, uh, get off of me. So, if you look back at the plate, we got our tomatoes, our pears, our radishes, the asparagus, our chicken, we got our steak, our fish, crab meat, shrimp, and our potatoes. And that's a lot of food. We're going to dig in and put ourselves in a coma. <sighs> Maybe. So, thank you guys for joining us. We're going to eat our food and go to sleep. No. So thank you guys very much for joining me on making Salamagandhi. Sal 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 Salamagandhi. Bye. Say bye. Peace out. Bye. <laughs>